Hi, I'm here to tell you about Calvin. Calvin is a virtual reality design environment that uses a concept of heterogeneous perspectives, allowing us to investigate issues in providing technology to support collaborative VR over high-speed networks. These include providing representations for virtual co-presence, video and audio teleconferencing, virtual VR interfaces, and database technology for sustaining persistence in virtual worlds. This use of heterogeneous perspectives allows each participant to tailor the world's representation to their specific needs based on their role in the collaboration. Calvin runs in the cave virtual reality theater. Each participant dons a computer-generated avatar body to establish a presence in the virtual environment. Tracking the location and orientation of the user's head and hand allows the system to transmit gestures, such as nodding or pointing. These avatars provide significantly contrasting representations and give sufficient cues to determine where the avatar is facing, allowing the participants to communicate notions of relative position, such as, it is to your left. Some participants take the role of mortals, who see the design as it appears life-size from within. Mortals are better at fine manipulation and seeing details of the environment. Other participants take the role of deities, who see the design in miniature from the outside, and hence are better at gross manipulation and seeing the overall picture. Mortals and deities may also take on heterogeneous roles in the environment and have heterogeneous abilities. The deity may take on the role of a teacher or tour guide, while the mortal takes on the role of a student or client. Here we see a participant in the cave taking the role of a mortal. High above, the avatar of a deity can be seen. The deity is portrayed by another user sharing the space from an immersive desk. Calvin's network component connects several distributed Calvins running on heterogeneous VR platforms to a central data store. This data store maintains information on the current design as well as past designs. Users in the cave can move the cave through the virtual environment or walk about the cave. The environment automatically adjusts the height of the floor, allowing the user to walk on objects in the scene. Each participant manipulates objects using the wand. Here you can see a cave user moving an object in the space. Calvin has two complementary user interfaces, the virtual visor and speech recognition. The virtual visor simulates a head-up display, allowing the user to choose a menu option by gazing at it. Here you can see a cave user bringing up the menu and turning video teleconferencing on. Speech recognition allows the user to bypass the visor menu through voice commands. Here you can see an immersive desk user talking to Calvin. Calvin, video on. Enhanced video active. Participants in the design can communicate with each other using both audio and video, which are streamed over a high-speed ATM connection. Calvin has been used in the design of several spaces. The Power Wall Room at NCSA, the GII Test Bed Rooms at Supercomputing 95, and the ARPA Integration Test Bed Prototype. Calvin is currently being used in collaboration with local industry to provide techniques for prototyping in VR. We are also applying the techniques derived from Calvin to two new projects. A narrative educational environment based on constructionism called NICE, and visualizing scientific data through heterogeneous perspectives.